damn we are out here in the garage and bang i know y'all see it oh yeah catless downpipes not going on my gt350 though this is my friend's gt350 so just want to throw that out there before all you california epa people try to get me this is not on a car that's registered in california this is a track car not my car but catless downpipes going on it so uh we're gonna start by throwing them on first step is to get the downpipes off on this car which the two bolts are up here and the way you want to do it is by fitting a fat really long extension all the way down there and you can kind of see it you can kind of see it but there's two bolts for the top of these right over there and since the catalytic converter is so big that's literally the best way to reach it and the only way as you can see right down there oh oh bang right there that's where the uh yeah, that's where the screw is you guys can see it <laughs> freeze anyways this is what we're working with right now it's a pretty monstrous extension as you can see uh it's like a weapon but you can stick it right down here onto there and i do recommend having two people it looks like we're gonna be able to guide it on as you can see we have a flex head right over here a ton of extensions and a flex at the top so we're able to flex in multiple positions you know making any kind of shape we want so what i'm gonna do is have my brother crazy la hold it from the top right over here and i'm gonna guide this onto the socket while wearing gloves because the car is a little hot right now but i've heard the warmer the bolts are the easier it is to get off I picked up this good stuff from the hardware store. It's supposed to be pretty good. So we're gonna spray the hell out of the bolts with this because I heard this just makes the job so much easier. Spray the hell out of the bolts with this, get some gloves on, put this on from up here, guide it on at the bottom and uh, see how it goes. It's not easy. <laughs> Bro, I'll work out and I can't get this off. So check it out these bolts are both very hard to do pv blast them and pv blaster so that's what i've been doing is just letting it soak in that and uh what i did is i had one wrench here and we did the little double wrench trick so basically we slip it on like this and loop it around and boom we have a double wrench so we have way more leverage now to push up on the bolt so shout out to tangy 50 for telling me about this because i was seriously getting so pissed off doing this I was getting super frustrated so shout out the homie tangy 50 and now we got them both out we got the clamp out of this one just simple two bolts to get the clamp out again some nice pv blaster all over the camera lens it's all over my body too basically took a bath in it but uh that side's out now we just got to get the o2 sensors out on both sides after we take them out and it's uh pretty simple after these two bolts so we got all this out up here clamp out down there loosened and quick tip o2 sensor uh didn't want to really there's one up there which stays in this one needs to be removed didn't really want to take it off while it's like this down here so there's a little bracket right back there that you can slip it out of and then out of here you just push this part in and then you pull it out and boom now we can take that out when the cat's out so we got both the cats off now time to put those on o2 sensors are kind of hard through pv blaster on it too make sure you actually have a wrench and you don't try to use this crap because that crap doesn't work but no cats now, America, baby. Hell yeah, brother. So we got a little bit of anti-seize right here. We're just gonna put it lightly on our O2 spacers. The reason we have O2 spacers is because since it's catless now, this is right here is not gonna throw a check engine light for us. So I'd recommend an O2 spacer for all you people out there. Sprinkle a little bit of anti-seize on here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, gently thread it into this. O2 sensors are on, it's all bolted on. I went to the top again to make sure these bolts are all tight because the last thing I want is for it to not be tight enough and then I'm like, shit, I gotta do it again. But it's tight. It's on there, torqued it down and everything. <sighs> Happy with it, so let's go ahead and rock and roll. So I'm gonna just roll this shit out and you push it a little bit down the street so the neighbors don't hear it because I have no idea what to expect, but. Holy shit, no joke, I got these guys pushing my car right now because I don't want to start it because it's going to be hella loud. The engine oil temp is at 75 degrees. It's hella cold out here, but we're going to have to like dip the hell out. All right, we're going to let it warm up right over here. Just for a brief second. Oh my God. Oh my god, that's crazy. So, minor issue is, I think it's leaking a little bit from the middle of the car. And that's why it's like kind of loud and it sounds a little bit weird. Um, so, I'm going to take it to Trent tomorrow since I got to go bring the Camaro to him anyways. And we'll have him just tighten everything down and check it all out. 
But uh, we got the majority of the job done. Take it to the homie Trent, see what's up. But wow, it's nuts. All right, let's go ahead and for the first time, flick it into sport mode. We're just opening up the valves and wow, that was kind of loud. Let's see what it does right up here. sitting in that lot right there and I was all like rawr, rawr. I'm glad that the car wasn't warmed up though yet I closed the valves which actually comes like so much in clutch like it's not even that loud if I don't take it over two grand like so we're gonna let this thing warm up and then get into some shenanigans two there's two of them oh my god why are there two cops sitting there bro <laughs> why are there two why are the cops all out tonight it wasn't me officer i promise look my car's so quiet it wasn't me <laughs> all right so we're back home now great to come back without any tickets or anything like that car sounds absolutely insane i will be bringing you guys another video in the future of the differences between a catted and a catless gt350 and uh, how beneficial the valves still are just so you guys get more details in it but this is just the installation video and my initial reaction so let me know what you guys thought of the video hit me with a like subscribe to the channel because we're always bringing some super dope shelby content and leave a comment down below if you have any questions i'll see all you guys in the next one peace You see a car go, call the cops, boy. AK all day, body start to drop, boy. Bamba Jinya Pita, Sari Dinya Strita. They're trying to lock us up, but we ain't gonna stop, boy. Huh. They're trying to lock us up, but we ain't gonna stop, boy. Huh. They're, they're, they're trying to lock us up, but we ain't gonna stop. Huh.